sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. We're the underdogs. They don't know what we can do. I'm excited for the season. I like going back and forth. Stakes get a little higher. Competition probably gets a little fiercer. You can run, you can just hit them when you want. We have to play sound, make them earn yardage. It'll be a good, loud game. They say you get only one chance to make a first impression, but we're calling a do-over after last Friday night, okay? Soggy week one meant we didn't get to see the best from every team here in Northeast Indiana, but it wouldn't interfere tonight. Andy McDonald joins us with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. Forget about the torn up turf. The folks at Zollner Stadium needed to make sure the scoreboard was working this evening because it looked like we were in for an offensive shootout. Despite less than ideal conditions, both the Spartans and Cadets, they put up over 40, 40 points last Friday. It's Homestead at Concordia. It's your highlight zone game of the week. No, no mud bowl part two and no complaints from me and certainly not from either of these two high flying teams. First quarter, Jake Bird, the quarterback drops back hits Tyler Grossman the crossing route he has reservations for six gets in the end zone there easily and then you'll see bird up top to OBJ looks off the receiver or is that KAD Kamari Anderson drew cannot be stopped the silencer it's 20 to 3 in favor of the KS early but Homestead bookends the halves Luke Goody to Trevin Taylor it's 20 10 at the break and they get the ball to open the second half the spotlight isn't too big for either of these Spartan QBs. Jake Houdini, Archbold, to Mr. Sudoku himself. Taylor again, just like Randy Moss over that defender. It's 2017, five minutes left in the fourth. The Spartans take the lead for the first time. Camden Rogers up the get, 23-20. They go for two, but don't get it. Plenty of time, though, for Concordia. Amir Drew this time, he powers his way in as well. They retake the lead, the Cadets do, with 2.41 on the clock. The Spartans, they pick up a crucial fourth and nine, and then with 10 seconds left, Goody finds Conrad Kazai for the game winner, the buzzer beater to the pile on Homestead rallies to stay undefeated 29-27 that final. It was awesome. I mean, like, I turn around and I thought I knew the defender was on my back, but I just ran it in. Greatest feeling in the world. I mean, Coach called a great play, and Conrad got open, so I saw him coming across the middle, and I just threw it to him, let it, let the ball go, and he was there, and it was a good, it was a good play by Conrad. So, does it feel like a game-winning buzzer beater in basketball, kind of? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it was just about exciting. I mean, it's always a good time to come out here with my my best friends and just play in front of a great crowd over here. Our student section is great. It's always great to you know play in front of them. So. As a buzzer beater, yes, it's just as good. Yeah. Fight and fight till the very end, and that's exactly what they did. So I'm really proud uh, just of how they fought back all the way through the third and fourth quarter. So what a great high school football game, you know, from both sides. I, I've been on that other side, too. And it's, but still, when you look back, it's hard fought, two good football teams. Concordia is at Snyder next week, while Homestead at 2-0 travels to Bishop Lures. Glenn, back to you. All right, another big matchup in the SAC. Snyder and Carroll Panthers beat the Chargers. Check this. 69 to 7 in week two last year. First quarter, hey, it looked like, you know, more of the same. John's, John Barnes Jr. to Michael Lito Jr. 7 0 Snyder, but assistant coach for Carol Ron Fricky says this Friday is about to get freaky. Carol's Rhett Sailor and the ship has sailed all the way into the end zone. Sailor had 102 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. 7 6 after the block PAT, though. And my little man, Frazier. Loving what he saw after that. Carroll's defense stepping up. Micah Fretz with the pick, and that gives Carroll some pretty good field position. Doug Dinan's club takes advantage. It's Sailor again, this time bouncing out around the tackles, and he's in. It's 14-7. Carroll after the two-point conversion, and Carroll's defense, oh, they were up to the task. Terrell Griffin meeting the ball carrier right there in the backfield and Doug Dynan loves it. The only thing he loves more than a play like that would be this. Victory formation in the fourth quarter. Gavin Vogt, the quarterback, takes a knee and Carroll puts it on Snyder. The final in this one, the Chargers taking care of business over the Panthers, 38 to 14. What does this mean for Carroll football going forward? Um, this is great. We dropped our first game. Thanks, Coach. 
Uh, we dropped our first game is by one point, which was kind of disappointing. So this was a great bounce back for us. Finished the season really strong. What's the helmet mean? I don't know. <laughs> Brett couldn't tell me what the helmet's for. What's the helmet about? This is going to work, baby. You know, we normally I, ha I, I was going to put it on when we score, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait till afterwards. And, you know, we we worked hard all week. So you know, this is just our what we do. We're going to work. I think that's obvious. This is a different team, different attitude, and we're trying to change the culture here. We're trying to win those big games here, and that's what's going to happen this year. Oh, they certainly want a big one tonight. So who else wants in that muddled SAC title discussion? Lures beat Carroll by one last week. How would they fare? At Wayne Manor, third quarter, Wayne taking care of business. Keyshawn Fields, a first down as the Generals, leading by a score of 21-14. Later on the drive, first and goal, and it's Chris Thomas up the gut. The Generals take a 28-14 lead on the Knights. You know Kyle Lindsay's team not going away. Norman Kanapke to Cameron Hedgecock. That's a big game for the Knights, and you know what? It's a pretty good combination. Kanapke to Hedgecock. Why not try it again when you're in the red zone? It's a good idea. Hedgecock, touchdown. Generals still up, though, 28-21 to in the fourth quarter. Derek Moore's team looking to seal it, and it's Fields finding pay dirt as the Generals beat the Knights 35-24. to Oh, we just got to keep fighting, you know? We can't take no more L's. No more. Last game, we can't worry about last week. We got to worry about next week. That's all. Continue to be physical. That's all. Um, we worked in the offseason hard, you know, weights, squats, bench. Um, just continue to be physical. Stick with the plan. You know what I mean? Don't panic. They're going to score. They got great weapons on offense. Stick with the game plan. Keep running the ball. Keep blocking. Keep playing hard on those defense. Lures host Homestead next week while Wayne will host Northrop. At Chambers Field, Bishop Wenger ranked third this week in the 4A State Poll after shutting out Wayne in week one. Tonight, the Saints battling Northside first quarter. Patrick O'Keefe to Blaine Hudson. That's good football. It's a first down inside the red zone. And then the Saints hand it off to T.J. McGarry. This kid, a great football player, intelligent young man, going to play college football at Columbia. 7-0 Saints. However, the Redskins, excuse me, the Legends, I should say, Playing some D, Juan Inez with the strip. Jacob Lambert recovers. Legends in business, but in the second quarter, it's the Saints going to the air. O'Keefe airing it out to Griffin Eifert. Got a talented family on the football field, but I know he gets his wheels from his mom, Julie. Dwenger wins this one at Northside by a final of 22 to 8. Final stop in the SAC. We're talking Spooler Stadium, both Northrop and Southside. Southside looking to bounce back after a setback in week one. 21 zip Northrop at half. Third quarter, South Demari Clark to Everett Merritt. That's a first down on third and long archers in business, but later on the drive, Northrop's Alex Satterthwaite with the forced fumble. South does recover, but Northrop would eventually get the ball back and make a move here in the fourth quarter. Bailey Mirzo, the multi dimensional quarterback. Finds the end zone there as Northrop goes on to blank Southside by a final of 28 to zip. Well, that'll do it for the SAC tonight, but after a quick timeout, we're going to head back out to the gridiron for some of the area's best matchups. After the break, we're going to head up to Steuben County where the Angola Hornets. We're looking to put the sting on the visiting Leo Lions. A huge night on the ground for Angola. We'll tell you about that. We've got rivalry games between Garrett and DeKalb and South Adams at Belmont. Plus, trips to New Haven, to Warsaw, to Whitco, Adams Central, and to Busco, all coming up next in the zone. We're the Angola Hornets. Don't buzz off. There's more Highlight Zone after the break. Save big during the great Labor Day clearance at The Great Escape. Patio collections marked down 50 to 80%. Clearance prices on umbrellas, fire tables, and more. Save up to 50% on remaining pools. Includes installation. Don't miss savings. Up to $3,500 on our entire stock of jacuzzi, Sundance, and bullfrog hot tubs. Get 0% financing for 50 months. Plus an additional $500 rebate. Only at The Great Escape. Escape your everyday shop. The Great Escape. Imagine experiencing this level of wow. This heightened state of car buying bliss. These feelings are not uncommon at the Honda Summer Spectacular event, where you could get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with seating for up to eight. This euphoria is only available at the Honda Summer Spectacular event.
So come experience it for yourself. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Pilot, named part of 2018's best SUV lineup in America. Right now, at Steak and Shake, pick any two items for just $3. Pick the new Buffalo Ranch Steak Burger, cooked to order with tangy buffalo sauce and cool ranch dressing, and the new Butter Steak Burger. That's two for $3. Or our Swiss and Mushroom Steak Burger and our All-American Steak Burger. Yep, two for $3. How about our Steak Frank or grilled cheese with a big order of thin and crispy fries? Yes, yes, and yes. Pick two, pay $3. Better burgers, better prices, only at Steak and Shake. You've waited all year for this, and now that it's finally here, you'll want to be here. The Labor Day sale at Kloppenstein Home Rooms. Save half off on all furniture and mattresses with no down payment and no interest for five years. It's our greatest Labor Day savings event ever. Now at Kloppenstein Home Rooms, only on Lima Road. during the summer clearance event. The all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn can be yours for $329 a month. Or get a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk for $249 a month at Glenbrook Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. You've waited all year for this, and now that it's finally here, you'll want to be here. The Labor Day sale at Kloppenstein Home Rooms. Save half off on all furniture and mattresses with no down payment and no interest for five years. It's our greatest Labor Day savings event ever. Now at Kloppenstein Home Rooms, only on Lima Road. Do not come in tonight after the game and have your coaches pop it in or have us trade this with Plymouth and they say, that's a soft football team. There's nothing as embarrassing as that. Defense, you get your butts to the ball. Offense, play through the whistle, execute. Have a great time tonight. You with me? Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Oh, you got to love that stuff. That's Indiana Hall of Famer, Bart Curtis. Curtis coaching his first home game with his new team, the Warsaw Tigers. And you're going to hear more from the coach on Wednesday at 6 o'clock in our two-minute drill segment. Meanwhile, it's a rematch of one of the best games we saw all last season, Leo versus Angola. Hornets with some heroics in the fourth quarter last year to pull out a 41-35 win at Lions Field. Would the rematch be a repeat? Well, Defensively, Leo doing work early. Eli Detmers and GT Baker with a sack lunch. But in the second quarter, Jarrett Gibson. Kid had himself a night. 28 carries, 283 yards, and two touchdowns. Are you kidding me? What a night on the ground for the Hornets. Angola up 7-zip. Later in the second quarter, uh, Luke Honer in on this. It would be a safety as Angola takes a 9-zip lead. And the Hornets go on to beat Leo by a final of 26-0. Bragging rights on the line, and the Barons. Garrett had won three straight against DeKalb, but it was DeKalb up 35-0 at the half. Third quarter, Landon Miller, kid, had an evening. 11 carries, 186 yards on the ground, and three touchdowns. That was from 26 yards out. It's 42-0 DeKalb. Later in the third, Tanner Jack. What a great name for a football player. He goes in from 33 yards out. He had 11 carries for 84 yards and two TDs. As for the first time since 1988, we're talking 30 years, DeKalb shuts out rival Garrett, 49-0. You know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm a senior, and we, we are 0-3 the last three years against them. We hadn't beat them yet our, in my entire high school career. And to come in here senior year and beat them 49-0 and shut them out, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Uh, it means we're not messing around. Like, the last couple of years, we've been, been okay. This year, we're not messing around. We're going to be big. Garrett is at Churubusco next week while DeKalb open, opens conference play against New Haven. Speaking of those New Haven Bulldogs, first game on that beautiful, beautiful new turf at John Young Stadium. Bulldogs hosting Mississippi The turf looked pretty, but it wasn't a pretty outcome for the Bulldogs. First quarter, that's Mississippi's Cade Campbell, 7-0 Ole Miss. And then late in the first, it's a pretty good combination. Hand the ball off to Cade Campbell from three yards out. It's 14-0. Second quarter would be a little bit more of the same. You know, this may be the best name we've ever had on the highlight zone. Heisman Skeens with the option toss to Campbell. Seven-yard touchdown. If you can think of a better football name than Heisman Skeens, at me on Twitter. Mississippi takes care of New Haven, 37 to nil. Moving on to that Bart Curtis game. Warsaw, first home game under Coach Curtis. They were taking on East Noble. 
first quarter action. Harrison Mavis with a 25-yard field goal. He is a weapon. His brother made the Fab 15 a few years ago and kicks it for them. Three zip Tigers. Later in the first, Kane Dawson with a five-yard touchdown plunge and Warsaw up 10 mil. Second quarter, East Noble starting to get things rolling. Jack Herber had that big touchdown run late in the game last week. He takes it down to the three, and then it's East Noble's Bailey Parker taking the reins this year and taking the Knights into the end zone. But it's Warsaw with a win over East Noble in a good one, 17 to 10 Tigers. At Ryan Huff Field, we're talking Eel River rivalry game renewed. Columbia City facing Whitco. Third quarter, it's Columbia City of 14 zip and Landon Markins showing why Brett Fox has to love that. It's a sack keeping Whitco off the board. In the fourth, Whitco's defense holding. They would stop the Eagles here on fourth and goal from the five, so we still got a 14 zip game. Later, you're going to see Whitco's Ryan Patrick come up with the interception. It's good news if you're Whitco, but it wouldn't be enough as Columbia City goes into Whitco and wins it 14 to zero. Adams County bragging rights on the line down in Decatur. Belmont hosting South Adams. The Starfires tied for 13th in the state's 1A poll coming in. I'm doing some work on special teams. to get a little hand on the field goal attempt to make it 2017 at that point. South Adams in the lead in the third, and then it's Nick Stuber. We've seen this kid on the highlight zone once or, you know, twice before. Stuber with the big run here, but South Adams will turn it over on downs. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Still 2017 Starfires. Belmont's Jonathan Wilder sacked by Grant Mosier's defense, and then late in the fourth, Belmont trying to do something, but it's that defense that helps pat the pass down as South Adams wins bragging rights over Belmont 2017. Tonight we had to fight hard. They got the first touchdown. It brought our mentality down a little bit, and we had to keep our heads in the game, stay focused. We got pumped up again, and we started you, scoring again, and we just started doing good and started scoring. I mean, it's big going 2-0 into conference play. It's a, it's a new season right now, though. Our goal is to win the ACAC, and there's a it's a heck of a conference this year. I mean, it's uh, you got AC back again, Woodland, top to bottom, a heck of a conference. So uh, we got a long way to go still. Like South Adams, Eastside came in tied for 13th in the 1A state poll. That's you know, six spots back at Adams Central Bill. The Jets ranked seventh. Jalen Hammond showing why it's seven zip Jets in the first. Eastside's Matt Lieb, though. Ooh, that is quite a boot. It's through. Seven three, though, Jets in the lead. Second quarter, the Jets stopped here on fourth down. Gotta love that Eastside defense if you're Todd Mason. But Adam Central, they got some defense too. Just Sean Berlanga with the sack for the men in red. And then you're gonna see. Hammond with another short touchdown run as the Jets take care of business over Eastside, 35-9. Our final stop for football, we're talking Turtle Town. Busco sixth in the state's 1A poll. A little diesel fume, never hurt anyone. Eagles hosting Lakeland. First quarter, it's Sam Wood. He had a touchdown in the opening kick of the season last week. He would not be denied in the first quarter there. It's 7-0 Busco. How about Tom Richards? He's been a starting quarterback for quite some time at Busco. Matter of fact, it's his third season as a starter, and well, he uses that experience to tuck it and run. 14-0 Busco at that point. Second quarter, fourth and one. The Eagles surprised with a little air play. Lake Trostel with the touchdown as Busco beats Lakeland 42-6. We got more highlight zone, including your play of the week up next. Don't cry or even squeak. We'll have your highlight of the week. Play of the week. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't want to leave the house. With Meyer Home Delivery, we come to you. So no matter what, you can Meyer any way you want. At Ashley Home Store, Labor Day deals start right now. Come in today and save up to 40% off or get 0% interest for five years on new styles for every room of your home. For a limited time at Ashley Home Store in Fort Wayne on Lima Road in West Jefferson. This summer, visit the place where men defied a king and a nation was born. Stand on the banks where a future president made a daring midnight river crossing and see the cracked bell that rang out freedom. There's plenty to explore in Philadelphia, and you can fly to Philadelphia on American Airlines daily, nonstop from Fort Wayne. 
Visit AmericanAirlines.com today for reservations. Fort Wayne International Airport, where dreams are departing daily. Now you can drive a new 2018 Chevy Equinox for $179 a month or drive a new 2018 Silverado $349 a month. The new 19s are arriving. The 18s have got to go. The model year-end closeout is on at Ben Davis Chevrolet Buick in Auburn, where our price sells cars. Culver's Chicken Sandwiches are proof that raised right tastes right. I really care about the food we eat, and that all starts here. The chicken that we serve to our kids is grown right here on our farm. What does it mean to raise chickens the right way? It's just a combination of things. Just the low-stress environment that they're in, the highest quality feed makes a tender and tastier chicken. This is chicken raised right. Our grilled chicken, our crispy chicken, and our spicy crispy chicken, they are amazing. Welcome to delicious. <laughs> Now you can drive a new 2018 Ford EcoSport for $169 a month. Or a new 2018 F-150 Super Crew 4x4, $289 a month. The new 19s are arriving. The 18s have got to go. The model year and closeout is on at Ben Davis Ford in Auburn, where our price sells cars. At Ashley Home Store, Labor Day deals start right now. Come in today and save up to 40% off or get 0% interest for five years on new styles for every room of your home. For a limited time at Ashley Home Store in Fort Wayne on Lima Road in West Jefferson. Sometimes I need to work. Bye, Mike. Sometimes I'd rather work out. Yeah. With Meyer Home Delivery, we come to you. So you can do what you want to do and Meyer any way you want. It's the Kill Chargers! And we're the Neon Nation! Here's your play of the week! On your number one sports station! <laughs> Well, the Neon Nation had a lot to cheer about. Could have picked a play from them as play of the week, but for this one, we got to go with Goody. Could he? Should he? Would he? Yeah, Luke Goody to Conrad Kazai. Ten seconds left against Concordia in your highlight zone. Game of the week, and this is your play of the week. Luke Goody finding Conrad Kazai. That essentially as close as you'll get to a buzzer beater in football as Homestead. Edges Concordia 29-27 in what was a fantastic game of football. Chad Zolman, he said it exactly correct. Now, as for what we're going to have on the docket next week, Homestead coming off that big win. They're going to travel to Bishop Lures in what should be a good game. Concordia battles Snyder as the Panthers look to bounce back. Garrett at Churubusco, that's always a good one. And the Northeast State and the ACAC begin conference play. We'll have complete coverage next week in week three of the Highlight Zone. But that'll do it. For week two, thanks for staying up late with us tonight after that NFL preseason game. Don't forget to check out a lot of former Highlight Zone stars tomorrow night at Bishop Darcy Stadium as St. Francis opens the season against Robert Morris at 6 o'clock. We'll see you next week for the Highlight Zone.